here's a model of a geyser. What I have is a plastic funnel which is weighed down by using a large nut. It doesn't really matter what size it is. You just want to make sure that the funnel stays down. And I've placed it in a 250 mil beaker. The uh, funnel should fit ideally just inside the beaker. And then I filled it up with water to the narrow end of the funnel. Make sure you have enough water in there and then I'm heating it with an alcohol burner and that then causes the water to boil and the steam then escapes up the uh, stem of the funnel and as the steam rises it also takes some of the water with it. Note that as the water boils water vapor goes up the funnel through the narrow stem and carries with it some water. This is also the principle of a coffee percolator. In a coffee percolator the steam is generated at the bottom where the electric heater is and as the steam is being generated it carries water with it and that water then percolates through the coffee grounds and seeps back down again into the urn and extracts some of the coffee flavor then from the grounds. So a model of a geyser. These geysers also of course occur naturally and in a natural situation steam is generated from the hot interior of the earth and as the steam rises it carries with it water through the narrow cracks in the rocks, the earth's crust and that then rises to the surface and as the pressure changes it causes then the hot water to shoot way up into the sky at times. If I increase the rate of heating by using my propane burner you can see that the reaction is more vigorous, more water shoots up and more steam is generated.